Let's start with an overview of the Bigfoot BF300. It's an integrated unit consisting of a compaction chamber, baler, two hydraulic power systems, and a trailer designed for both on-road and off-road travel. The compaction chamber, or baler, remains permanently attached to the trailer, removed only when undergoing rare heavy-duty maintenance. To make a bale, plastic is loaded into the compaction chamber until the chamber and the space above it are full. Loose plastic is compressed by lowering the plunger or compaction ram. A Honda gasoline engine runs the hydraulic pump that moves hydraulic fluid from a 50-gallon tank through steel reinforced hosing to the control box, where three levers regulate the flow of hydraulic fluid to the moving parts. The lever on the left operates the plunger. The lever in the middle controls the opening and closing of the three door latches. And the lever on the right operates the four ejection feet that are located at the base of the compaction chamber. When these feet are raised, the finished bale of plastic is kicked out. A hydraulic pressure gauge and an emergency off switch are also located on the control box. When the emergency off button is pushed in, the engine and hydraulic pump shut down immediately and all moving parts stop. This is a great feature if there's a problem. However, it's difficult to see if the button has been depressed. So if the baler engine cranks but won't start, check the emergency off button. The hydraulic flow divider is the rounded aluminum block mounted on the right side of the control box. Its job is to ensure that equal amounts of hydraulic fluid are flowing to each of the cylinders that control movement of the plunger. The pilot actuated check valve is a safety feature that would come into play in the unlikely event of hydraulic failure. It's a small aluminum box at the base of the red cylinder below the controls. The check valve activates to prevent the pistons and plunger from dropping if there's a sudden drop in pressure. The trailer bed is raised for travel and lowered to the ground for easier loading. Lifting and lowering the trailer bed are controlled by a second smaller hydraulic system that operates separately from the baler controls. This smaller hydraulic system consists of a pump, a battery, and a handheld control device, all located on the right side of the large storage box at the front end of the trailer, near the tongue that attaches to the tow vehicle. The battery that powers the trailer hydraulic system draws its charge from the tow vehicle. We've found that if the trailer hasn't traveled much distance since the battery was last used, it may not have sufficient charge. To assure that the trailer deck can be raised and lowered when needed, RAP staff have installed a trickle charger in the hydraulic compartment of the storage box. If the baler won't be moved or used for several days, especially in cold weather, consider plugging the charger into a 110 volt outlet to maintain an adequate charge on the battery. If the battery is depleted, several days of charging time will likely be needed to restore adequate voltage. If the need is more urgent, Use jumper cables to connect the two baler batteries or to connect the hydraulic system battery to another vehicle. Keep the jumper cables hooked up to both batteries while the trailer bed is being lifted or lowered. The right side of the storage box is only for components of the hydraulic system. It's not meant for tools, which can damage the components or short out the battery. However, the left side of the box is for tools. Before taking the BF300 on the road, review the checklist of recommended tools, supplies, and gear. A laminated copy of the list is affixed to the inside of the toolbox lid. Use a grease pencil to check off the items on this list before the baler leaves its home base. Users will also sign off on a paper copy of the supply list before the baler is released to them and then upon its return. The contents of the storage box are valuable, so keep the box locked with the weather-resistant lock that's been provided. These are combination locks with override keys. The baler manager has one copy of the key and wrap staff has another. 